Hello and welcome to IDM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore using the recovery disk that I created in the last video. Uh, first of all, let's gonna uh, let's see that what is the content inside the flash drive, and then I'm gonna boot up using the flash drive and then do the system recovery. So if I go to the PC and recovery drive, there you're gonna see that we have a hidden boot folder. So if your Windows is set up into legacy BIOS mode, you can boot using this boot configuration file, or if you are in UEFI mode, you can boot from this EFI folder. Other main thing is that we have the sources folder over here. There we have the first file that will be a push button recovery disk part. If I just double click on this, and because I created this recovery from the UFI machine, so you can see that's converting my disk first of all to a GUID partition table GPT, and then it's creating a 100 MB EFI partition, then it's creating a Microsoft Reserve partition 16 megs and then it's occupying the remaining entire hard disk and then it's shrinking by 500 MB to create a Windows recovery USB, Windows recovery partition that is WinRE. So this is all is going on in this script. So in case if you have any other partition created after creating this recovery disk, that will be lost. So uh, that's all we have. And then we have uh, a WIMP file using which you'll be booting up and you'll be getting other options like performing a system restore, system image restore, uh, doing startup preparing or going to command prompt for uh, executing your own commands to do the uh, recovery and the biggest chunk of uh, storage is occupied on this flash drive using uh, from this file and this contains your all uh, the whole operating system and this also contains all the updates that you had installed at the time of creating recovery drive as well as it contains all the drivers and as I told you in the previous video that this image will not be having any software that you have installed and that um, operating system so that's all that I have in this flash drive there is nothing else and then we have boot configuration manager uh, boot manager that will be used for booting up in the in the legacy BIOS mode and then we have recovery agent configuration file so now I'll be booting up using the flash drive I have already inserted the flash drive as I was showing you the content inside the flash drive so let's restart and while restarting you have to just keep on pressing the F12 key for me it's a F12 key to get the boot menu option for you it may be different just uh, Google or look into the documentation of your machine and keep on tapping F12 and as I am in UFI mode I will be going for the UFI boot and I want to boot from the UFI flash drive that is SanDisk press enter key Okay, so first of all, it's asking for the keyboard layout. I'll go ahead with the default United States. And over here, choose an option because I created a system drive. You are getting this first option that says recover from the drive. This will be the full system operating system recovery. Uh, we have option for continuing continue booting to Windows 10. You want to use some other device for boot up. You want to troubleshoot or turn off your PC. If you have not created system recovery drive, you're going to see this option only boot troubleshoot. And then we have option for uh, startup repair in case your MBR gets corrupted or if you have problem with any other boot configuration database, uh, this option can fix it automatically for you. If you want to go ahead and fix things manually, you can go ahead with command prompt option. If you think that you have installed any update and that update is creating problem with the startup, you can uh, just uninstall any of the updates. You can go to firmware settings. You can uh, do the system restore that is uh, some snapshot that you have created of system files so you can go ahead if you have installed some system files and that is creating problem you can restore from the old uh, system restore point or if you want to do the system image recovery that is the whole operating system or whole disk recovery you can recover using this option so I'll go back and we'll be doing the recover from the drive and from here you can select just remove the file so fully clean the drive now in case if you are uh, planning to recycle this hard drive like you if you are donating it or you are reselling it so just go ahead with this option so it will just uh, wipe off all your hard drives so in that case any recovery software cannot be used for recovering the data that you stored in the hard drive we can go ahead with this option just remove my file so it's just 
gonna completely wipe off the hard drive completely delete whatever contents you have delete all the partitions and then gonna install windows so now here it's giving you the option uh, a, a message recover from the drive all ready to go make sure that your pc is plugged in because this is gonna take a couple of hours and here is that what will happen all your personal files and user accounts on this pc will be removed any apps and programs that didn't come with this pc that will be removed uh, windows will be reinstalled and uh, recovery drive is connected to this pc and um, repartitioning will be done of the system drive so i'll go ahead and click on recover and now recovery process is started now now this is gonna take uh, maybe one hour or more so i'll be back once this recovery is done i'm gonna show you that what if we finally get after the recovery is done okay so you can see that the recovery is complete and if i have a look in the disk management the same partitions are created 100 mb efi the c drive and then we have windows re or oem partition and then if you have a look on the in the programs we don't have any software installed over here and if we go to the disk management or device manager to see what drivers are installed you're going to see that we have the graphics driver already installed here if we go to display adapters you're going to see we have installed a microsoft basic driver i have intel hd driver and if we go to the sound and then you're going to see we have real talk high definition audio driver already installed so this is how we can do the system restore using the recovery usb and in case if you are having any errors there's also options available over here if i go to c drive if i go to c drive there is a hidden folder where it has created windows.old but it's basically empty if i go to view options and just show hidden files And then you're gonna see we have sys reset and then there are a bunch of log files available so if you are having any error you can just have a look and get the details that why your uh, system recovery is failing um, setup error yeah bunch of information over here also so that's all how to do the system recovery hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video